Hey guys, it's your host Rainier Avon and this week we're checking out Stan's Car Passion. Let's get the show started. Doing good, doing good. Yeah, what you doing here? here? We're here to check out your car passion awesome. and your awesome car stories. Cool. Let's cool. get it started, man. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. Hey, Stan, so when did the car passion start for you? <sighs> man, to be honest with you, like when I was a little kid, um, my parents, I mean, my dad was working two jobs and um, my mom, uh, she actually had polio in one of her legs. And um, she was, it was really difficult for us to make ends meet. So my dad used to always bring me these little toy cars, wow. you know? And I don't know, like, you know, that was like my world. Like those little toy cars were like, I had the Batmobile right. and I had all these little, you know, Corvettes, all these little cars. I used to play with them all the time, like the, you know, the Hot Wheels and Matchbox. And I just had this fascination for cars. And I said, you know, you know, it'd be nice, you know, one day, you know, to work really hard, you know, and, and, and get there. And then exactly not have these toy cars, but have the real cars, right, right. you know? And I said, well, hey, you know, I'm going to study. I'm going to do whatever it takes. I hit the books, I hit the libraries. I right. became a nerd. You know, Friday night came, Saturday night, the kids would be out, you know, partying at the movie theaters. I'd be reading, I'd be studying, trying to get everywhere, you know? And then um, today, you know, sure enough, you know, you know, my dream has actually come true. You know, I got all these nice cars right. and, and I continue. I mean, some people collect shoes. Like you open up the closet and there's a bunch of shoes right, there, right. you know. My, you know, my collection happens to be a little bit more, but it's cars, you know. That's amazing, man. So let's go. How about we go check out some cars? Sure, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right. So, uh, what's the story behind this car here, man? It's gorgeous uh, F-150 you got here. Well, actually, it, it, people ask me if it's a Lightning, but it's actually not. Uh -huh. It's a Trident V8. Okay. Um, it does kind of look like it. Uh, I put the side pipes. It's got the SVT wheels, tires. Yeah. Yep, yep. I put the wheels on there. Um, it's very loud. I like it because as soon as I go off somewhere, like the alarms start going off and everything. But it's just, you know, I've always wanted to have a truck because there's always somebody knocking on your door. Hey, I want to move a mattress or whatever, you know, and I want to be that person that can help somebody out, you know, so. But I always like to have a truck because you never know. You always need a truck for something. And the Ford, man, Ford is my favorite uh, automaker. Man, let me tell you something. I love Ford. I mean, I, you know, I mean, they're, they're really, really good trucks. I really, they're reliable for me, you know. That's awesome. So uh, let's see what all the cars you got here. This is a Jaguar XK. Okay. And I got this car um, about maybe two or three years ago. Okay. And it's just, it's just a really, really nice ride. It's really comfortable. Um, you don't feel the road. I mean, when I'm driving this car, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's really, really cool. I mean, it's just really, really comfortable inside there. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's totally luxury. I mean, the, it's a, I mean, I've always wanted a Jag, and this is my favorite model. They have different types of models. They have um, the XS, they have um, the XK, uh, but um, this is like my favorite model. Right. You know, you know, just you know, really one nice. of the interesting things that I was reading about this car is that um, Cullen, the guy that is the chief designer for uh, Jaguar, mm -hmm. uh, he also designed a uh, Aston Martin DB9 and Vanquish. Yep. But the inspiration for this car was from uh, Kate from the movie Titanic. Really? Yeah. The, her curves. He said that her curves is kind of like what inspired him to create this car. Yeah, you can actually see where the curves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it definitely does. Like I've always liked the back of it. It's got yeah. that, you know, like the the back to it. it looks yeah. pretty cool. It's like yeah. the you know the fenders and stuff like that. You know, it looks awesome, really good. Man. All right. And then this one. This is my caddy. Now this is a 2006 Star Black XLR. These were limited edition. They only actually made 250 of these cars. Wow. And there's, um, the way you know is because on the door, mm -hmm. there's a number sill plate okay. and each car has a number. I actually, what's a little bit different from the other XLRs is yeah. that it has a special metallic paint. Oh, uh, when, the star, uh, when the sun hits it, it kind of glitters a little bit. Nice. It's got that magnetic, uh, magnetic tr uh, traction control when you're driving. Uh, I have Continental tires. I remember, I remember when this car came out in 04, uh, mm -hmm. that was one of my favorite, because this car is kind of like a, it's sitting on a, it shares a wide uh, platform from the Corvette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the convertible top is actually pretty cool. Well, you know, the, it goes the, up and down. What Cadillac wanted to do, I think when they made this, was yeah. compete with Corvette. Yeah. So I think that's what happened. When they designed this car, they wanted to go after like the Corvette, the sports car market, right, right, right. but at the same time do luxury. Now, this is actually a hardtop convertible. Mm -hmm. 
Um, you know, most Cadillacs, you don't really see too many convertibles out there. Right. But I've always, if I get a, a convertible car, I always like them hard top. I don't like the rag tops because, uh, you know, there's just, if you get into an accident or something like that, they can get uh, worn out with sun and time, you know. But the hard tops are, are a little bit more reliable. Yeah, I like in, them. In recent years, they only made a couple cars. Uh, they, they made, uh, I think, two cars in recent years. The Cadillac Alante and then this yeah. one. So. Well, when, in convertible. Right? When I first saw this car, what made me like, like, go crazy was it always reminded me of a Batmobile, you know. <laughs> it, does, it, does. It, it like it looks like a Batmobile kind yeah, of. Yeah. And it definitely has the with the re re retractable. Uh, yeah, yeah. I car. saw it and I said, you know what? You know, I, I got to get it for the collection. You know, I, I just I think it looks really cool. Yeah, those are Continental mm -hmm. tires. They're really, really cool. Now this car, you know, um, when you drive it, I, I mean, it's like it feels like. I mean, I hate to say it, but sometimes it feels like you're gonna fall asleep because it's so damn quiet when you're really? driving it feels like you're floating you know you're wow. talking about that titanic or yeah, something like that, you know well th this one's actually sailing it's not sinking wow wow <laughs> must be you must turn a lot of heads with uh definitely all these cars will well, turn yeah, this one definitely does a lot i actually um when the grand prix was in miami uh -huh. i actually drove it around i wanted to get the experience of what those drivers go through and i went around really fast and it does the turns i mean so good i mean it handles it handles exit cadillac you can't go wrong you cannot go wrong so you, you, you have a, a car which is a special, it has a special meaning to you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're all, they're all my babies. They're all your babies, but this car has a special meaning to you. All, all right? these, yeah, all my cars are my babies to me, but um, each one, like, I think performs a certain task. Right. You know, that's, that's what I think. But this one to me was like a childhood dream, you know? I mean, I used yeah. to watch uh, a show called Knight Rider. Right. And um, I, I, I mean, I would just, I, I couldn't even talk. I would just be like speechless watching the show. I mean, this car does it all. You know, it would talk. It would do all these like super. The car actually was the, I think, the main actor of the right. show. You right. know, it was weird for the first time that the actor, the human being, wasn't the actor. Actually, the car, the car. is like the main star. You know, so right. I said, you know, it'd be cool if one day have one of those. And then I, I went around and searched and searched and searched. And then the project began where I started building. The actual dream started to come true. Nice. Let's go check out that car. Sounds good. All right, so we arrive at your final beauty. So tell me about this one. This is a Pontiac Fiber 1991. Right. And uh, this is like my one of my cars that I just continue to keep working on, working on, working on. It's almost uh, screen accurate right now. Yeah. Yep. So this car in the, he was kind of like, the car was a star. I, I, you know, I, I used to watch the show, but it was like when the car came out, man. I yeah. mean, the hair would just stick up on my arms. I just go crazy, you know. It was like, just keep showing the car, keep showing the car. And then that's when I started to realize, man, you know, I really like cars. So what have you done so far to the car that um, you're still working on? What's the next project for you? Well, once once I finish with this car, um, I definitely want to get into some other cars. I definitely want to get into maybe building a Jurassic Park Jeep. Right. But um, this car uh, right now, it's, it's, it still needs a little bit more to go before before I, I want to finish it exactly so I can tell you it's done. Um, the seats are actually pretty new. I put those in recently. Those are PMD seats. That's like the ones that the car originally had. It has the steering wheel. Um, the electronics I'm working on right now for the dash. Um, but other than that, everything's pretty good. The paint actually is really good on the car. Yeah. It's got the glass T-tops. Right, right. So what, what what's your favorite uh, special feature from the show? Like uh, the car was able to, I remember in the show, the car was able to uh, do uh, like, a, like a turbo boost. Yeah, I'll tell you something. I, I, every time the car was under, I mean, the car could just do anything. I mean, it could just even burp, and I would be, I would be like excited about it. But <laughs> the only time that I watched a show that I, I, I uh, couldn't watch it was there was an episode where the car they actually had uh, killed it, mm -hmm. and it went under the ground into some cement or something like that. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I couldn't sleep. I mean, I was just, I know it was a TV, I know it was a TV show, but like when I saw him just do that to the car, it just freaked me out, man. It was a kid. I mean, that was like, like the worst, yeah. you know, it was like a nightmare. I couldn't sleep for weeks, man. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I just, is one of my favorite cars, you know, I mean, I mean, all, all of them to me, you know, they're, they're all unique in different right. ways, but you know, this one actually is just like, you know, it's a hobby. And at the same time I keep working on it and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. So what's the next uh, kind of car that you're looking forward to get in the, you know, I mean, it, it, it depends, you know, I, it just seems that for some reason I keep getting black cars, you know, no, but, yeah, yeah, that's true. but I, I would definitely, I would definitely love to have a Batmobile one day. I want the Jurassic Park Jeep. Um, you know, I mean, I, I like different cars, you know, I'm looking at also a, a Maserati, Aston Martin, right. you know, a Lambo. So these are cars eventually I'm probably going to, you know, start getting, you know, as, as time goes along. Awesome, man. Hey, thanks for uh, uh, letting me check out your Sounds car collection. Cool. And, uh, 
and for sharing your car passion. Mm -hmm. And uh, definitely, I uh, would love to see when, when you get those cars. Let me know. We'll come I'll back. I'll give you a call, yeah. All right, man. All right, man. Take care. Thanks. Kid, can you tell me a joke? I stopped the gas the other day. The service was so slow. By the time they filled me up, my upholstery was out of style. What's up, kid? Hello. Hey, nice. Thanks, man. The first mm -hmm. time uh, I kid met my girlfriend, he got a little Hello. jealous. Really? Yeah. I go, hey, kid, this is my girlfriend. Uh -huh. it wasn't too Why? See? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want me dating anybody. Kid, you don't want him dating Do you really think so? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>